just coming in here, um, I've always thought of it just as home. It's holy ground. It's where you go to be close to God and God's people. And our family was always here. We represent two of three generations that have attended this church. Our parents came here in 1961, uh, and we've been married here. We've baptized our children here. We've buried our family here, uh, services in this room, but we were always together and we were together as a family and we were together with our Christian community, with our Christian brothers and sisters who held our hands, held our babies, held our, you know, brought us food, knelt with us to pray and uh, everything in between. Yep, it's home. I grew up here, I left here, I came back, and this is home. There's really no right way to show thanks. And I don't think there's a wrong way to show it either. No matter what you do, you're here. You love your neighbors, you love the people you're around. You're here because you, you want to be and you mean to be. And God wants you to be here. I think in any way that you feel it necessary at any point to share your thanks, to share your gifts, to share your blessings, do it. Because no matter what, you are absolutely correct in feeling that way. Thanks for the church. Thanks for Kathy Sylvester and the Chirps. Thank you. That was wonderful memories of all Nash and, and all the kids, and Connor and Visage and Jenny and all the kids growing up in their costumes every Thanksgiving and the wonderful music that they tried to sing. Now we see those cherubs coming back in leadership roles, mentoring with us in the choir, being active in drama, taking leadership roles in the youth and coming back. And hopefully the great Thanksgiving for me uh, and for our family is that we've given something back that allowed that to happen. We've always said, no, as Bob said, no matter where we are, this is home. This is our home church. This is our people. And that's our little, those are our little people. And they, they, they have seen, they've been exposed to the same wonderful feeling of being part of a Christian family and community. So that's, the, that's the fruit. That is the gift. When you see somebody experience this very rich, powerful spiritual things that we did at the hands of all the saints that have gone before us and some still here the walk of the faithful and and we see that come to fruition it's